I did it! Xena Skeleton. Hell yeah, dude. What's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be part 7 of my blind first playthrough of Skyrim. Thank you for joining me in this journey. It has been so fun so far. I do have a Skyrim playlist that I will link up here if you want to make sure to get caught up on all the previous episodes. And thank you so, so much for all your support and subscribing and supporting my channel. And yeah, you guys have been amazing and incredible and thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get into it. We are almost about to finish the Dragon Rising quest. And it says, a dragon was sighted at a watchtower near Whiterun. Jarl Bullgriff sent me along with his house Carl Irelith with reinforcements the dragon attacked us and we killed it when i approached the dragon's corpse i absorbed some kind of power from it i should return to whiterun and tell the jarl what happened so that's what we're gonna do also a quick little warning for anyone that might be new i do have my dog in the room with me she likes to hang out while i do this um and she's just chewing on her bone so if you hear any random like noise in the background that's what it is also if you're completely new to everything streaming um the youtube channel like everything this new mic and like everything sounds so much better than it used to so you're getting some like good quality sound it's been like over two years of me streaming now and uh finally we're able to upgrade everything thanks to my awesome community so it's sounding crisp it's sounding good so anyway that's just a random side note let's play though i'm like so obsessed with this right now okay we gotta go back this way. Yeah, let's go ahead and fast travel. And we'll fast travel to this part at least. All right. These ah, men did it. You killed the dragon. I did. I did. Oh, what the? No one's gonna say anything about it's that. So fun getting pushed around all the time. I don't care. What the F was that? Sheesh. Welcome to War Maidens. Sun's out, now guns you, out, I guess. Girl, have definitely come to the right place. We've got mm. small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I think I needed charcoal for some stuff, didn't I? Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage? Ooh, I want that at some point. I love when they glow. That makes me so happy. This guy has so much stuff. It seems like you only get to really see what you've found so far. Is that correct? And, like, the more I explore, the more, like, weapons and stuff I'll be able to find that are cool. Because if you haven't figured out yet, I do, like, cool-looking stuff. Am I gonna actually be able to use this fishing rod, too? I feel like I thought I could. Good doing business with you. Thank you. I didn't mean to hop. <laughs> Let's go here. I want these on now. So I have some stuff I want to sell, but I'm not sure who the heck to sell to. Blacksmith. Oh. Sorry. What about a merchant? A huntsman? There's been talk amongst the gods. You are I am. Dragon. Such a thing. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. Oh. And fresh vegetables for sale. Hi. Cool. I ain't done nothing. Dog me. Can't neither magic nor the watch it. What'd I do? Shiny trinket for your good lady. <laughs> Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. Ooh, you seem like I, I should be away. talking to you. Is there a reason you're walking around with an unsheathed weapon? Oh, sorry. Don't start swinging that thing in here. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I had it out. It's rather pale. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. I look pale. I have dirt all over my face. I don't know what you're talking about. Take a look. Take a look. It's in a book. Actually, I would like to sell stuff to you. I'm scared to sell this stuff. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Okay. Let's do it. 
so you're I'm a healer? Sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or wit bane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Okay. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Let's try out the alchemy table again. Potion of unknown effect. So I guess I should just try it. Potion creation failed. Ooh, a fortify health. Potion of fortify health. So that was just from the blue mountain flower and the glowing mushroom. That's a good concoction. But keep trying new things. Thank you. Alchemy rewards inquisitive minds. Ooh, fortify magicka. There's this frost. Crystal magicka. And I'll be happy to serve you. I'm trying to figure out what this lavender does. Restore magic or resist magic. Okay. Okay, I'm done messing around. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Thank you. I was hoping that she would like. Oh, that's cool. Whatever that is. I was hoping I would be able to sell stuff to her, like the gems or whatever. Here we go, Take general goods. Around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Thanks. Everything's for sale, my. Take a look. Whoa, that's cool. I want that. I think I'll go ahead and get this fishing map. Don't I already have this healing one? Ooh, that's nice. This music's nice. Just hanging out in here. Well, I couldn't use the bones for anything. I was That's one reason why I was testing out the alchemy table. I was like, okay, maybe I can use the bones or the scales for something. But guys, I don't see a point for it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the one I'm so scared though. I don't I don't know. Thanks. Do come back. Thanks so much. All right, we accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Now let's go to the Jarl. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor the passing of time make it. Oh, let's go here actually. Then we'll be, I think, I think we would. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. This is a local Take a favorite seat and get the cold out. One of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar. Who needs something? Riding to Whiterun from Old Warwick's Dang, he is in your face. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of bold battles oh, in gold. Sadia. Yeah. If it's work you need, Certainly. how about but chopping up some wood for the fires? He met the shield maiden Matilda who said <laughs> I should have guessed as much. Oh, you Your kind sticks to that college in Winterhold, now as I well they should. You You'd never think to learn from a Nord like the Jarl's so wizard. The Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Baked potatoes. Oh, oh baby. Bread. Butter. Oh, I guess I could like yeah, we're good. Thank Need you. Need anything else? And Just let me know. Ragnar was boastful no more. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Jeez. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. Whoa! The Imperials. Let's go. So if I was a Stormcloak in this area right now, what would happen? Okay. I ain't done it. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Tired of bread and stew? Huh? Fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kid? Oh, friends. So many people. Patron of the great clan, Battleborn. <laughs> Need supplies? See Bellathor and restore. I think that's where I went. When the Empire surrendered to the all very dominion. I just want to talk to you. Let's go, friend. I love having a friend. I love having a friend that can fight for themselves, though, you know? Alright, Jarl. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Okay. You heard the summons. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? 
Yes. Watch well, was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I maybe caught something called Dragonborn. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Yes. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Let's do it. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? I read a whole book about it, dude. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. That's just what the men called me. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Started the Way of the Voice. Masters the Greybeards? The Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Epic sounding name. What do these gray beards want with me? The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The gray beards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yes. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Mm -hmm. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business. Yeah, I don't, Not I don't ours. Know. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. 7,000 steps? I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. Sounds I nice wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Nice. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. What's a housecarl? I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Dang. Alrighty then. So now I have, like, another weapon? Axe of Whiterun? Is that what he just gave me? I think so. Sweet. Dang. It's pretty nice. I don't know what to do with these scrolls. Oh, I had to find an appraiser for this. Do I have to find an appraiser if it already tells me the value, though? I'm not sure who the heck an appraiser would be. I serve Jarl Balkrum as steward. Okay. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. I don't know how to do that. But we completed the Dragon Rising quest. Yay! Now we're working on the way of the voice. Speak to the Greybeards. Let's do it. He assigned someone to me as house Jarl Carl. has appointed me to be your house Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the whole. She kind of looks like Lucy Lawless a little bit. The title of thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Hey. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. What does the house call do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. 
I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Dang. All right, let's Looks go like then. you've already got someone with you. Oh. What the? Um. So now I have to choose. Hold on. I am your sword and your shield. But, but. Farewell. I don't want to have to choose, guys. But she seems like she's pretty, like, ready to go. But I also have this guy. I've got your back. I feel like she's an upgrade. Lead on. Oh, man. I'm gonna miss you. I've got your back. I have him wait here. You go on ahead. That makes me feel a little better to have him wait here then. What do you need, my thing? I am your sword and your looks like you've already got someone with you. Oh my gosh. Am I allowed to have him as a friend again? We heading out? I'll head back home if you need me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Okay. Honor to you. Let's go. Lead the way. Also, some people were mentioning I should do like heavier armor or leather armor so that way I look more like Xena the warrior princess, you know what I'm saying? Not mean? Like yeah, that's true. As we collect more stuff, I'll definitely try to change it up. I want pants, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. To the gray bits. Was trouble and wide run, and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. No, you won't. I'm a thane, mother trucker. I'm a thane. I'm protected in this area. You ain't doing nothing to me, you fool. What? Is there a way to fast travel? Where am I trying to go? Wow, there's so many places. Oh, this is where we're going. Okay. This was as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. Dang, all right. See, all the icons on the top just look like craziness to me. <laughs> it's always the same. I guess I need to go towards, like, how do I know I need to go towards this? Okay, I'm just gonna place the marker. Okay. Because the blue is more obvious for me to see. Can this horse give us a ride all the way up there? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Until next time. Like, that takes you pretty pretty far. Like, Morthal? It said Morthal, Dawnstar, Winter... Did it say Winterhold as well? Windhelm? Oh gosh, I have to go there? Oh lordy. I might have my second death here, here soon. Yeah, like, these are pretty far places. Thank you. Let's get going. Let me go all the way up there. See that path? Okay, I was like, how do I run again? LB. Oh, fudge. <laughs> that wolf was like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna try out this axe for a little bit. Seems awesome. Is that bear icon? I mean, there's a bear. <gasps> Who the f are you? All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Nice try. But you don't scare me. I wish she wasn't in my Not way. Ask again. Do 
Don't you walk away from me. Never should have got Stupid little thief. Torturer's hood. Dude. It's... Oh, he was one of those green reptile guys. I like those guys. Except when they try to steal my stuff. What jabroni. Am I right? Look how pretty with the fireflies. I love it. I swear I saw someone, but I think it was just that little branch. Anyway. Why are you guys gonna be everywhere? Sheesh. Go away. Ooh, what does this area take you to? Oh snap, let's go. Ritual stone? We'll even follow the path and everything. <gasps> A fox! What do we do with the ritual stone? Activate the ritual stone once a day. Those under the sign of the ritual can reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them. You may have only one. You have on, oh my gosh. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. How do I use that now? We prevent you drink a potion or wait for it to recover. There we go. I did it, guys! But how long are they gonna fight for me, though? Like 60 seconds? I did it! Xena Skeleton! Hell yeah, dude! That's awesome. But I don't want them to go away. I love them. Oh, I think I automatically have that one. Don't I? Apparently not. Thought I had the shout, like, automatically. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah! That's exactly what I wanted! Let's go! Are we ready to take on anyone that wants to challenge us? Let's do it. Why am I getting attacked by skeevers? Like, get to it, lady. I'm about to die from a skeever. Sheesh. I guess I'll take a skeever tail just to see. Did my skeleton friend already die? Yep, he already died. Loved him. Alright, well that was fun, but I'm gonna go back to my... Axe. Oh. 
What? Yep, there he was. There lies the remnants of my best friend, the skeleton. This is probably not the way to go, is it? But we're gonna do it. Hi, Fox. You wanna be our friend? You're so cute. We got another friend. I love you. Are you a fox or a coyote, actually? Uh, I feel like this is probably the wrong way to go, isn't it? Wow. Um, hello? If I can jog up this mountain, you definitely can. I hate the winter, but this is so... Am I going the most complicated way? I feel like I always pick the most complicated way. I was like, oh snap, can I really not? I don't know if I can go up this way. Oh my lord. Where's my friend? Let me kick my little feet out. Yeah, I don't know what the F I'm doing either. I'm sorry. What the heck is this? <gasps> A sheep. Hi. Oh, are you dead? Oh. Poor goat. Dude, am I a dingus? Oh my gosh. How did I... Is this where I'm supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go here anyway. I don't even know anymore. Alright. I think we're good then. We haven't had rain in this game yet. It's so peaceful. I definitely did an amazing job with the sound in this game. Sound design, I think is what it is, right? Uh-oh. See some torches. I see some sort of, like, orc thing. What the heck is that? Crazy. Are you guys bad guys? No way, she dead. What's happening? What are you doing, Lydia? Oh my god, did I shoot her? She dead. Oh my gosh. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh my gosh, is it, is it healing the troll too? No way. Oh. 
I can't believe Lydia's dead. that on him. Come on, why is it not... Why is it not letting me do this one? Run, run. Dude, is this troll invincible or what? It's crazy. to do Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm so confused. Bronies. I don't know how to kill that troll. And I lost my friend. How do I restore that? Oh my goodness. I'm like a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I figured my friend was like invincible. Wow, those trolls are tough. guys without dying but we had about 10 other people die though the graybeards have summoned the dragonborn to high rothka such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years that's me what could it mean the return of the dragonborn and who among us could possibly hold that that's honor? me and such power i'll take this wheat please hi cow Potato plant. I'll just take two of them. I'll take all the wheat. Oh, did I pass it? The Imperials think we need their laws. Is it this? Where are the gray beards? Maybe this? I'm so confused. This made a creepy sound. What's that? Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. Nope. We don't get. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. It's haunted. It looked like it. The gray beards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Thank you. So I guess they are up the mountain then? What's this? 
So sad, we lost my friend. Aww. You look worse than I feel. Red was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. No, no. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Harvey not to worry. Rita will come back. With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Rita leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Rita to say goodbye. Aww. Oh, thank you. Divines Welcome. bless your kind heart. If you see Rita, tell her that Narvi misses her and to come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Soon like the moon. Well, bad I took your bread. Guys, if there's more trolls, I don't know if I can handle it. That was intense. Okay, not much in this town, it looks like. Maybe I should talk to somebody. Trouble? Staying safe, I hope? This guy instead of like a guard. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Yeah. About to make a delivery up there myself. Oh. I've been to the monastery many times. Will you come but with I've me? I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I was hoping you'd come with me. Really? Well, that would be kind okay. of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay. Be careful up there. Thanks. They say you'll fix Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shout I already miss all my friends though. Oh. I swear sometimes we're heading this way. At least it's daylight now. Alright, here we go, guys. Read etched tablet, emblem one. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wolf. Dang. We're just trying out this spell for now. I feel so cool with the uh, flames coming out of my hands. Not gonna lie. So I wonder if I was supposed to run into that troll. That thing is like intense. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Why are you half naked? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. 
Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Where are you at? Look so like realistic in the face and everything too. Kind of liking this dual wielding thing. What would happen if I would jump all the way off? Would I die? Probably. <gasps> Thought that was a dragon. I was like, oh snap! We're halfway there. Halfway there. Ooh, what you guys got in here? Oh, sorry. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons in their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. You're a heartbreaker. Where are you at? Oh my gosh, that scared me a little bit. So cold. I feel it. Look at those mountain peaks, though. Oh, I love it. Who's the next person on our journey here? Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Nice. Good. Careful. With Just a oh, sorry. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. Kine called on Parthernox, Parthernox, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice, then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. Ugh. What? Did I step on you or something? I'm sorry. down here I don't think I can fight this guy dude they said there's only wolves up here they lied You guys should all be proud of me because I'm actually sneaking. Normally. Normally I'm ready to just get right into it. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong. Although their sacrifices were many fold. I go a different way. Where'd he go? It's like all peaceful, but I know there's a troll up here somewhere. Okay. Let me just go ahead and save. <laughs> Do a little quick save here. There he is. Oh my gosh, no way! With 
roaring tongues the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragon withdrew from this world. I think I'm safe. I wanna look. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen, Windcaller, began his seven year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Okay. I think I'm safe. Guys, the trolls are scarier than the freaking dragons. Are you kidding me? Jorgen Windcaller chose silence in return. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jorgen, I'm just saying Jorgen, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. The calm built his home on the throat of the world. That's where we're going, right? We high up here. We gotta be getting close, right? Look at that. Yay! For years, all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Timber Septum. Stripling men was su summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovakin. Dovakin? I think I should be safe now. We found it, guys. Hi, Hrothgar. The voices worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Voice of the sky added. Nice. All right. I think that's where we'll go ahead and end it. We had a long journey today. But we finally made it to Hi, Hrothgar. That was freaking intense. The troll and everything. Holy crap. So I think we know what the secret word is going to be for this episode. So um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you made it all the way until this part, add troll into your comment just to tell me that you made it to this part. Basically, it's our little secret code word. Um, appreciate you so much. I love this game so much. I cannot wait to get into High Hrothgar and talk to the Greybeards and see what they say about me being a dragonborn and everything. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.